nothing has ever happened like this to my child. Never. Nashonda Robinson is talking about what happened here at the Northgate Mall on Saturday. Her 13-year-old daughter is one of six teenagers arrested. Police tell us there were as many as 100 teenagers hanging out at the mall about 9 o'clock. The ruckus was with a few select ones in a few different areas. We had saw the increased presence of those of teenagers coming for some time. We were just walking around the mall and then the police told us to get out, but we didn't know like he was talking to us, so then he t kept telling us to get out. Larissa says she was just walking with friends, not involved in what looked like a disturbance in another area of the mall. Yeah, people were trying to fight other people. Okay. But you weren't part of that? No. But the overall, they're good children. We never have a problem at them as far as like going here to hang out. They never have a problem when they go anywhere else to hang out. Police say they have received complaints from shop owners about the number of kids who hang out at the mall. Some say the numbers have increased since the opening of a new movie theater. And whenever you're going to get 100, 100 people together, 100 plus people together, we seem to be about, I don't know how, how close we are to numbers of that, but seem to be what it is. Uh, if someone starts something and else follows that lead, then you can have a very serious problem. So most definitely, you want to be proactive instead of reactive. Robinson says her main concern, how the kids were treated. Her daughter was handcuffed, and she says the police were aggressive with other kids. Have that much force on the kids as far as, like, kneeing them in the back, throwing them down. I just thought that was a little bit overboard. Now, police say they are investigating this whole incident. They admit that most of the kids that were there at the mall were good kids, not doing anything. They said, however, some were being belligerent, and the police reports say that what was done was necessary, according to those reports, to get things under control. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. All right, Curtis.